Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News starts now. A new funding bill could soon give much needed relief to small businesses and hospitals. What lawmakers are saying about this proposed plan. And gas prices continue to drop nationwide. Prices in Kern County included where you can fill up for under $2 a gallon. And we're taking a look at the hiring process for the Sheriff's Detention Center in an all new Kern back in business. Good morning and thanks for joining us for 23 ABC News at 6 a.m. I'm Danielle Kernkamp. Let's start off by bringing in Mike Hart, joining us live from the bunkhouse. Mm -hmm. How's it going over there in the West, Mike? <sighs> it's so, um, I don't know, it's so calm and peaceful. It's just kind of nice. It's, it's, it's a nice way to start the week out here compared to the way we started last week. Things uh, very quiet, but from what I understand, we've got another storm, but it's not as good as the one we had two storms ago. Let's bring in 23 ABC's Alyssa Flores. See how the week's going to start out. Yeah, it's a weak one. We won't really be seeing any wet weather here in the valley. Our friends in the mountains, they might be seeing some chances of showers, some windy conditions, but for us, another day below average. So let's take a look at where we are right now. 54 degrees right now here in Bakersfield. We're looking at a high of 69 degrees, again, below average. But look at that, by Wednesday, we're almost 10 degrees warmer and looking to get even warmer after that. So for today, we'll have a cool start to our morning, 58 degrees at 8 a.m., warming up by lunchtime to 65, and the warmest part of our day is 69 degrees at 4 p.m. We'll talk about that wind advisory coming up, but first, let's check in with CHP officer Robert Rodriguez to get a look at our roads this morning. Good morning, Robert. Thank you very much, Alyssa. Well, good morning and good morning, everybody. Uh, through town has been a very good tra uh, traffic commute for this Monday morning. Uh, right now, again, no crashes to report or any major problems on our roadways or freeways at this moment. There is traffic uh, that is uh, out and about. So if you have to be out and about uh, this morning, uh, just remember to please uh, drive at a speed that's safe for roadway conditions and always, always obey those speed limits. Right now, if you are going to head out of town, your major routes are all open. That's my look at traffic. Danielle, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, Robert. Topping our news this hour, lawmakers are now signaling that a deal on a new emergency funding plan may just be days away, bringing hundreds of billions of dollars in relief to small businesses and hospitals. ABC's Alex Prashay has more from Washington. This morning, lawmakers signaling they're closing in on a deal for the next round of economic relief. And I'm very hopeful we could come to an agreement tonight or early tomorrow morning. I think we, uh, we're getting close to a deal. This bipartisanship deal would include roughly $300 billion in funding for small business loans, $75 billion for hospitals, and billions more for disaster loans and COVID-19 testing. But some small businesses are running out of time. The government's Paycheck Protection Program dried up days ago. Also new, President Trump now invoking the Defense Production Act, directing a company to increase production of swabs, a key component for coronavirus testing, and testing something critical for his reopening guidelines. This is what it's about. Right. Health officials and governors say widespread testing has been hampered by a lack of supplies. The president claims testing nationwide has now reached the level needed for a partial reopening, tweeting, just like I was right on ventilators, our country is now the king of ventilators. I am right on testing. Governors must be able to step up and get the job done. We will be with you all the way. Officials in 12 states tell ABC News they're confident they can begin reopening in some form by May 1st. The rest say that's either too soon or they wouldn't give a target date. And many governors are pushing back against the president's claim about testing capacity. That's just delusional to be making statements like that. To try to uh, push this uh, off to say that the governors have plenty of testing and they should just get to work on testing. Somehow we aren't doing our job. It's just absolutely false. Uh, every governor in America has been pushing uh, and fighting and clawing to get more tests. Over the weekend, Vice President Pence announced that the country has conducted about 4 million tests so far, with about 150,000 more tests each day. But a new report from Harvard says we need to be conducting 20 million daily tests in order to reopen the economy. Alex Perche, ABC News, Washington. And over the weekend, states across the country saw groups gather to protest stay-at-home orders and business restrictions during the pandemic. This is footage from a Nashville protest on Sunday. The U.S. economy has come to a standstill during the pandemic, with 22 million people filing for unemployment in just the last four weeks. 
In other national news, getting from point A to point B keeps getting easier on your wallet. Gas prices continue to drop thanks in large part to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, AAA is reporting the average price for a gallon of self-serve nationally is near $1.82 a gallon. That's down five cents from last week and just over a dollar less than it was same time a year ago. In some states, including Colorado and New York, are you ready for this? Prices at the pump are under a dollar a gallon. Analysts say the cost hasn't been this low since 2002, and they predict it will keep going down. That's not good news for uh, jobs in Kern County, but gas prices here continue to fall as well. You can get gas for under $2 a gallon, according to GasBuddy.com. The on-the-go food store on River Boulevard selling it for a buck ninety-eight. The 76 gas station on Flower Street and Beale Avenue has gas for a dollar ninety-nine, and Costco is hovering right about two dollars. Another local business is stepping up to support healthcare workers on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic. Check this out. Bakersfield Mazda is offering a free oil change and car wash to healthcare workers. That's right, regardless of your make or model. That's right, in order to get it, healthcare workers are being asked to sign up for an, for an appointment online at bakersfieldmazda.com. You gotta bring a medical badge or a business card. The software will be available through May 4th. The dealership is located at 3201 Cattle Drive. Meantime, Supervisor Leticia Perez will be partnering up with local activists from the MLK Community Initiative for a free food distribution event this morning. It's going on off East California Avenue from 9 to 11 a.m. The lineup will begin at Gage and Chico Streets. Individuals will be asked to, well, stay in your vehicle and volunteers will bring the food out to you. Those without access to a car will still have to line up, but social distancing is being enforced. If you don't have a car, bring a wagon or some type of cart. It'll make it easier for you to transport your food. The Kern County Sheriff's Department is currently hiring over 100 detention deputy positions. 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido joins us live with more on what you need to know in this week's Kern Back in Business. Daniela. That's right. Good morning. So during this time, we know how difficult it can be to find a job while well, the Kern County Sheriff's Department is actually hiring 100 positions for their detention center. It's actually just one of two open Kern County positions available for hire at this time. The Kern County Sheriff's Department is currently hiring over 100 full time detention deputy positions. So we are in need of bodies and um, any who is interested in a law enforcement career that possesses the honesty and trustworthiness and integrity and wants that sense of pride of not only helping themselves and their family, but also the community. The position is one of only two county positions open for hire as the pandemic continues. Basic requirements are being a minimum of 18 years of age, possession of a valid Class C license um, and a STC core certification that at least get them into the facility. Um, they will provide the rest of the training in the first year of that they're here. Currently, they are hiring for detention deputies for lateral positions only. Lateral is um, is basically anybody that has their certificates from outside of the county of Kern. So anybody that didn't obtain their certificates through the academy that the Kern County Sheriff's Office provides. The monthly salary for the position ranges between $3,000 and $5,000 and includes medical insurance. The foundations and the operations that we do are maintaining the safety and security of another human being, that being the inmates. According to the staff, every day on the job looks a little different and there is never a dull moment at the detention center. Coming in, you're maintaining first and foremost the safety and security of the facility. So you're going to go through and you're going to make sure that all of your inmates are accounted for, making sure that everybody is alive and breathing and safe and well, uh, making sure that they're going to their court appointments, their medical appointments, making sure that they're being provided with the medical services that, um, that they need. So if you already hold those certifications, even if they were given to you outside of Kern County, you can apply for those lateral positions. But if you are still interested in the position but are not trained for those certifications, we'll have the link to all that information on our website, turn to 23com For now, we're live in Bakersfield. I'm Daniela Garrido, 23BC News, connecting you.